I got something. It's a computer, believe it or not. No, that's Home Depot. No, no, it's a computer. You wanna pick it no, up for me real quick? That's, uh, that's clearly Home Depot. It's probably like a bag of mulch or something. Definitely sounds like a bag of cement. I but, mean, I hear a lot of us. Uh... <laughs> uh, what we have right here is a eBay PC that we bought because it was broken uh, because the graphics card claimed to not be working or something like right here on the screen. Because so you're right telling there. me it wasn't supposed to have broken glass? It was not supposed to have broken glass. So um, this video just got a lot more interesting and we're going to open this thing up and try to see if we can salvage it. But from the sounds I'm hearing, I have some doubts, but hopefully it'll be entertaining for you guys to see if we can get it to work. Before we open this thing up, Let's hear a word from today's sponsor. <laughs> today's video is brought to you by Lexar and their new Aries DDR4 and DDR5 memory. First, the DDR4 memory comes packed with speeds up to 4,000 megahertz and capacities of up to 16 gigabytes, while also including some beautiful RGB and an all white design, making it great for any gaming PC build. The DDR5 kit also rocks fast speeds of up to 5,200 megahertz and comes in a sleek all black design and capacities of up to 32 gigabytes. Check the link down below to learn more about Lexar and all the memory products they offer. And special thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video, shall we? All right, guys. So uh, a while back, probably been a few weeks, actually, um, Matt came up with this idea. He was just scrolling through eBay. And we found a pretty decent computer that was on bid, and it claimed to have a bad RX 580 in it. And if we're being honest, that's really the gold of the system. I mean, the 580 alone, we're still probably about 250 at the time of recording this video. Um, they're coming down now. But the fact that we paid around $400 for this and... Uh, what else do we have? Like a 2600? 2600, 2600 motherboard inside a Lee and Lee, like a uh, land cool Full build, too. basically. Yeah, it was a full yeah. build. It looked good. He just said the graphics card stopped working after he reset Windows, which seemed very vague. Could have been a bad drive or something. The whole point of this video was for us to try to just buy the computer. It'd show up in good shape, and maybe we just reseat the graphics card and it works fine. And then we're like, ha, huh, look at you guys. You know, you're dumb. We could have just, you know, fixed this and made a lot of money. But instead, it's like, well, now we might have a lot more broken stuff because this looks like it's about the size of the case. This is not the first this has happened. Shipping computers is not easy. I mean, PCRose.tech, we ship uh, over a thousand a year, and this is not how we do it. Uh, I know this says how doers get more done. This is not for doers. This is for those who shouldn't. You really need to double box computers for the most part. We've had some friends work at UPS and FedEx, and uh, I've heard the term snowball many times. Basically, <laughs> once the packages start rolling, they get round. They, they lose their square shape. We're probably going to take this out of the dumpster to open it. Imagine, I mean, Zach walking around barefoot all the time and steps in some of that glass would not be good. Tempered glass goes into billions Pieces. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is take this out to our dumpster and uh, see how much glass we can get out of it and just see if any of the stuff still works. And if none of the stuff still works, I don't know if this is gonna be a video. We have a long journey to the dumpster. We probably could do this over the trash can too, but. You wanna try the trash can? Let's see if it'll fit. I'm just gonna kind of like open it from the bottom and just let his gut spill out. You know, we, we told the guy, look, we, we need something. You know what I mean? Like, we're not gonna make you take this back, you know, unless you want it. And he's like, no, I don't, I don't want it back at this point. So he gave us $150 back, which makes it about $275. And if we only have to swap the case, really good deal. If we have to swap the case and the graphics card, okay. it's still decent. I mean, not bad, but if it's more than that, then, well, it's kind of yeah, a we might be shit out of luck. I'm, you know what? I think oh, I have a better idea, actually. Yeah. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, yeah, it's all over the back. The GPU's still in there. I was worried that the GPU was yeah. just gonna be, it's gonna fall diamonds. out. We found diamonds, Matt. Is this Minecraft? This might just be a- It uh, might might be a dumpster, actually. I'm kind of like getting back to that where I don't really want to open it. I'm already getting glass like on my shoes. All so. right, well, I guess we'll just move it to the dumpster. Yeah, let's go to the dumpster. Excuse me. Got a lot of glass here. Nobody wants, nobody's gonna cut themselves today, except for me. I forgot how tall this dumpster is. I, mean, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. This dumpster's so tall. Get it up here first. Oh no! What was that? Nothing. Is that a? Was it the lab? No, I swear oh it my wasn't. God. Matt. Don't worry about it. But you got the industrial ones, man. This is a weird is way my, to record, by the is way. Is my audio still there working? I swear to God, guys, I'm average height. <laughs> There's blue cheese. I don't know, man. Some type of cheese in there. This is natural. Oh God, it's getting heavy. <laughs> ah! Ah! Don't do this at home, children. This is the worst packing job ever. Who thought this was going to work? Oh my God. All right. You okay. get workers comp for this one. Oh, nice. It's bouncy. This is what we deserve. Yeah, that's the gra or the uh, the power supply I'm feeling shaking around. You're not the power, the hard drive. It's literally just like, I don't even think it's in a bay. It's just like sitting in there. Do we need to work in shifts? Do I need to shake now? <laughs> Dude, I'm not even shaking. It's still just like coming out. 
<sighs> at this point, the only thing that's really gonna have glass in it is going to be the power supply. Everything else is pretty clear of glass. So I think at this point, we basically just need to take all the parts out, kind of blow them really good to get any of the, like, the glass dust. And I think we're good to go. We now have what we call a test bench set up and there's, there's nothing to this. You can do this at home, no big deal. And there's really not a whole lot different from it being inside the case besides the fact that you can just kind of have everything laid out wherever. But we have our graphics card plugged into the PCI line of the motherboard. We have our PCIe um, 8 pin, which we need to power the card. Our 24 pins plugged all the way in. Our CPU 8 pins plugged in. We did not move anything from the board. So all of our RAM is still nice and seated. The CPU is hopefully still under the CPU <laughs> cooler. We have our HDMI plugged into our graphics card. We already made sure that the monitor turned on and everything so once it receives signal we should see an image on the screen if this works but we get the power supply cleaned up as well and put back together we have not cleaned anything else because why would we clean something if it's broken right so first thing we need to do is just test it and make sure it actually works this is where That's an explosion scary. happens yep i've had a power supply capacitor blow up on before and it is quite terrifying so what we're going to do is we're going to find our front panel header which is this right here they're actually labeled power buttons always going to be the top row all the way to the right any piece of metal will work if it works, there we go. Took me a few tries. All fans are spinning, power supply fans spinning, graphics cards spinning, CPU. Okay, that, go back down, go back down. Yeah, this already is not a good sign. So whenever you hear the fans ramp up like this full speed and not go back down, normally how it'll work is you turn your computer on, fans are slow, they ramp up because the BIOS is not controlling them. They go 100%, they have full voltage, and then they come back down normally. This is not the case though, which definitely worries me because, I mean, it could be the graphics card still, but... The GPU BIOS is corrupted or since the guy thought it was a graphics card let's just throw it in there all right take number two this is an afox 1050 ti and yes it's real maybe we got this for a video and we're saving it because the video stuff's not here yet okay it's quiet right now i think we might already have so normally when you see this yeah no. when you see the screen kind of change color it means it's looking for the signal and look at that we're already in the bios this 580 is not looking good but it's not to say that we can't figure out the issue it's, it's very rare that we figure out the issue because we are not micro component experts but sometimes you can look at the back of the cards in the inside and actually see the issue with it and if we do think this is a bad card it might be fun just to take apart anyways and see if we can find anything more than likely it's something really crazy like an ic has a bad component component internally. Normally you can see like little burns in the back of them. You know, that's something that we're going to really have to focus on. But the good news is everything else seems to work just fine. Mm, now that I'm looking at it, interesting. that tamper screw has been taken off. So clearly someone's gone through. I mean, that looks like a stock thermal pad, but it that could have been... It looks pretty clean. So it does look know. clean. So, so it could be new thermal Let's pad. take this thing apart and see what we find. See, it really poses the question of, do you take it apart before it stopped working or after? Nothing looks super like obvious fixable. The GPU thermal paste looks really like It weird. does look bad. We're gonna try again. Cleaned up. We're gonna see if that actually made any sort of impact. We're also using uh, this connector instead of this one because you never know, it could have a bad PCIe connector and we didn't have to use that on the 1050 Ti, so. It's it's not screaming and I'm just, it's like, it's. It is thinking so hard. It's like, do I want to do this? We do have another HDMI to try as well. That was the card dying. <laughs> that was the last time the fans will ever spin. Why is it teasing us like this? I just kind of wanted to either work or just not I do the same thing. What happened with that first boot? I don't know, but I think, I think she's done. Oh, Pull yeah. the plug. It's time. All right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab all the parts that we're gonna be using to put together basically a new PC with what we got, uh, like a CPU, motherboard, RAM, combo, storage, and all the other stuff, minus the graphics card in case. We're just gonna build a working computer now. And we have this as a case. They sent this over a while ago. It kind of has like a pegboard kind of front to it. It's pretty unique, um, but you know, good airflow. And we've had it in storage for a little bit, so we're gonna use it in the build. And it is micro ATX, so it's gonna fit really nicely. We should be able to make a complete build here. And for the GPU, of course, we had to get something else and we have the 1660 because you know what uh pc bros our pc selling business we have a lot of graphics cards like these and we just want to throw them in here and a 1660 with a 2600 was a pretty balanced build i think we did that exact build on stream just a few days ago so it deserves a better life so we're gonna make this build look nice and pretty and of course be true rgb fans so let's go
We're now playing Apex Legends. We're playing on pretty much high settings. Um, I think, yeah, like we're like almost, almost maxed out. It works, you know, it, it came from some humble beginnings at the start of this video. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, he never stopped shooting. No. Getting sweaty with it. Mozambique? Oh, yeah. Mozambique for the win. Mozambique across the map. You won, woo. Before, as we wrap this up, I have to read this email we just got in our Toasty Bros email box. Hi, Matt. Oh, baby. I don't know about you, but it seems that baby season is in full swing. Do you agree? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> we spent a lot of money on this PC. Let's be totally real here. In terms of just price and performance flip value, I don't know if it's really there. The whole compounding issue of the glass shattering and also the GPU not working makes it so this thing is not as good of a deal as it once was, but at the end of this benchmark run, we'll give you all a recap of everything we paid so you all can judge whether or not it was worth it for us to actually buy this. My lean towards no, but you know what? At least we got the content out there. Aerial assaulty. Oh, oh God, I'm getting attacked by someone else too. They're done. They're done. Back in the bot lobbies. Here we are. <laughs> Goodbye, AI. This tank is mine. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, who's shooting at me? These NPCs thinking they can hit me with the, the blob. This guy will die. He's probably gonna kill me. He's rushing me really aggressively. Uh, and, and there goes Marvin. Sorry, Marvin. We're on the hunt. I found the enemy. He's mine. Come here. What, what do you think you're gonna do here? Is this really your strategy? Anonymous, you're done. You're next, come here. Oh God, low fuel. Is this the end of my reign? Okay, he's done and there's one more guy. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Up the hill I go! I'm out of gas! Here we go. Spider-Man? Okay, he's in the bush. Oh, what is this gun? Oh, he's done for. I think six kills is enough. There you go. eBay PC works. Let's wrap this video up real quick. Everything checks out, everything works well now. We did have to replace the graphics card with a 1660 from the 580s. I mean, an upgrade, but it did cost money. We also sort of upgraded the case. It had a micro ATX Lee and Lee case. We swapped over to this, what, what is this? Uh, it's Aza Elise, God, whatever. It's Elise, Elise case. And overall, I mean, it's a pretty similar build. We did add some RGB to it. So all into this, we're probably about 650 now when you count tax and shipping and all that stuff. And then obviously labor, but you know, Matt and I built it. So there's not really anything there. So we'll say 650 bucks as far as retail value. I mean, a build like this in the current market with how expensive stuff is might be closer to like 750 or eight. So we did okay. Now, of course there are better GPU options. We based the price on the 1660, what it's going for on eBay right now, which is about $300, which you could get an RX 6600, which is definitely a better GPU for about the same new on like Amazon and Newegg. So just take all that information with a grain of salt. This is more a fun experiment that we were hoping to fix the PC originally and then got a whole different kind of video when it showed up damaged. So yeah, if you want to check out any of the parts from this build when we mixed everything up and made everything better, check the links down below. Also, I have some alternative suggestions as well if you're looking to build a PC that performs similar to this. So as always, we appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you like to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, we plugged it a couple times in this video, but PCBros.tech is our PC selling business where this PC right here will actually be for sale for a really good price since it was a video and we have all kinds of other gaming PCs. Check out our website. We have a bunch of stable builds that stay there all the time and some one-offs that are really good deals and built by us over on our Twitch stream. So check out PCBros.tech and use code TOSIBROS2 on checkout to save 2%. See you guys later. Goodbye.